Hi, my name is Dixie Wirtz. I work at the law firm of Deck and Barron, and I'm part of the 50-50 Challenge, and you're watching the news at noon. It is high noon on March 19, 2010, and the Friday edition of the Daily Journal is upon the streets. Mike Fry here with Dennis Yonka, subbing for Caleb Benoit today. And Dennis, you literally stumbled upon an interesting story about a buried Buick yesterday. Oh, Can you tell us about it? This is what makes working here the greatest. <laughs> I, I, we get a call that somebody says, they just uncovered a car at the corner of Chicago and Oak Street. Come over and see this. So I go over there, and it turns out that a man had put a car under a... Well, it may have been a garage once, but he took the door down and, and put it cement blocks up so it's just like uh, the rest of the house. You, there were no windows, no doors. I don't know how anybody knew there was something under there, but the guys who were going to tear the house down decided what they needed to do is look in every area before they started knocking it down. And there's this 1958 Buick stored there in 1971, 26,000 miles or so on the odometer, and uh, no... No reason, no, no rhyme to it. I am fascinated. Wow. You can read more about that in today's paper. Speaking about the paper, the weekend edition is nearly upon us. Uh, Dennis, and we have some interesting things coming this uh, weekend. You know, April 15 years, we've got some tax tips. Also, the all-area girls basketball team will be announced this weekend. What kind of weather awaits this weekend? Don't know for sure, but Sean Loftus always has the answer. So let's go to Sean. Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Sean Loftus and I am here with your AccuWeather forecast for the next three days. I'm the videographer and weather guy, by the way, in case you didn't realize that already. Um, and today we're looking at a high of about 68 degrees with a low of 38. Um, going to be mostly like the conditions that we've been seeing for the past couple of days. However, it is going to get a little bit colder, like I said, low 38, and we're going to be looking at uh, some possible rain showers coming in, moving into the area later tonight as well. That'll take us into Saturday um, with a low of 46 degrees, back down to the 40s. Um, with that cold front moving in, um, it's going to be cloudy uh, throughout, you know, a lot of cold, you know, some cold showers and breezy throughout most of that day and into the evening and a low of 36 in case you, uh, in case you were wondering. Um, that'll take us into Sunday with a high of 47 and a low of 34. Um, it's going to be breezy throughout most of the day, mostly overcast. Clouds are going to be present throughout most of the day and into the night with possible rain um, throughout all, all of the day and night, basically. So anyway, this has been Sean Loftus with your AccuWeather forecast, and we'll kick it back to Mike and Dennis in the newsroom. Dennis, we're back, and there's a story on page C3 of today's newspaper which really piqued my interest. It's about the late, great... Jimi Hendrix. Quite a Hendrix revival going on right now. Dennis, there's a remastered album out there. They're talking about a Jimi Hendrix rock band game. And there's a tribute tour for Hendrix in the works. It's supposed to come this summer. I hear you once went to Seattle and it was had, up close and personal. Oh, I had to go to that music expo thing. You, you get to play uh, guitar and you get to play drums and you get to act like you're in a band. And uh, you get to see all the Hendrix stuff. It's it's pretty cool. That's But uh, they're saying Elvis and Michael move over. Here comes Jim Ann. Move over. I got a little story about that, Dennis, since you bring it up. Hendrix's band, it, it, Hendrix was on the brink of stardom in the New Year's Eve of 66 and played at a small London club. Uh, and afterwards, they were walking over to the uh, mother's, uh, the home of Noel Redding's mother. He was one of his bandmates about a mile away. It was a wintry night. So once they got there, Jimmy gets into, into the house and sees a dog laying in front of the fireplace and he blurts out move over Roba and let Jimmy take over which of course is a uh, verse in the classic song fire so oh, yeah. I'm fired up about Hendrix in the newspaper today uh, Dennis well we got a good one down the street we got a good one coming yes so. we do so if you want to read the Daily Journal uh, you can do so by subscribing uh, call 815-937-3322 to do that you can also pick it up at the newsstand so until Monday have an outstanding weekend and like Caleb Benoit would tell you stay classy that was a nice little segue, man. That was ESPN-esque. Those guys are like the masters of segways. <laughs> Don't you know that? From a Scarface when first time he dances with... Uh, oh, right, right. Her name's Hancock. Her last name's Hancock. What actress is that? Come on. Michelle Pfeiffer. Michelle Pfeiffer. Where are you from? Baltimore. Baltimore! Where's that at? Because sometimes I do. I'm a... Okay. <laughs> <laughs>